Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Kate Silverton. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Geneva. It's great to be back here with you again at what promises to be another very exciting moment in the history of McLaren Automotive. Let's welcome now then to the stage McLaren Automotive CEO, Mike Fluitt. Hey, Mike. Good morning. Good morning. Very good to see you. Thank you for Thank you. inviting me back here again. I've been keeping a close eye on McLaren. It's fair to say you have had another superbly successful year. Well, hello, Kate, um, and thank you for joining us again. And you've had a great year too. We've been we've been watching, um, but it was 2018 was our eighth consecutive year of record sales, with an increase of 44% globally. And under our Track 25 business plan announced last July. We're going to continue to grow, albeit more steadily now, through to a volume of 6,000 cars by 2024, the level that we feel is absolutely appropriate for a luxury brand. And that business plan includes 18 new cars. We've already shown you three of them. And by 2024, all of our sports and super series cars will be hybridized. But one thing I can promise you, no SUVs. We are completely focused on building the best driver's cars in the world. Your customers are clearly very happy. The industry is impressed too. You were voted Britain's most admired car company. Yes, that's right. That was a, a survey performed by Management Today magazine polling top industry business executives and a great honor for the team. And this, when you think only nine years since the company was founded and ahead of many famous names who've been around for up to 100 years in this industry. So let's talk about, you mentioned the three cars already revered under Track 25. We've yeah. got them here today, so let's have a chat about those. We have, the most recent being the 600 LT Spider, the fifth chapter of our long tail story following the sellout coupe that was launched last September. And the 600 LT is the most track focused sports series model, and now with the added exhilaration of being able to open its roof. It's a great example of our skills in light weighting, 100 kilograms lighter than the 570S Spider on which it's based, which was already the lightest car in its class. And the one we're showing here today is an MSO commission. And already the majority of 600LT customers are asking for additional bespoke content from MSO. And last December you showed us the 720S Spider, beautiful car, and it's already receiving rave reviews. It is, and it's our most accomplished convertible supercar ever. A huge breadth of ability. And like all our Spider models, no additional strengthening is required over the coupe on, on which it's based. The two-piece retractable hardtop is elegant in the simplicity of its operation, taking just 11 seconds to lower. And there's the option of a glazed roof together with glass flying buttresses that give near 360 degree vision. And the 720 Aspire is proving very, very popular with customers with advanced orders now all the way through summer. Right, we've got another 720S here. Looks a little different. Very different. This is, this is the race car. This is the track only GT3, now produced alongside the 570S GT4 by our own in house customer motorsport team. We made a successful debut in Abu Dhabi in December, and several teams now will be running the GT3 across the globe. 2019 is looking like being a really exciting season. Now, speaking of exciting, 
We've got the speed tail. It is, in my view, just that, that incredible mix of art and engineering. It's the fastest McLaren yet. 106 units already sold, well, they're all sold. That's it. Absolutely true, and, and, and quite some time ago. Uh, and this is the first time we've publicly displayed the speed tail. I'm delighted that some of its future owners are with us here in Geneva today. And others have already started coming to Woking to start discussing the individual specification of their cars. And the first of those cars will be delivered in less than a year from now. So you call the Speedtail a Hyper GT. Um, the first Grand Tour was revealed here three years ago, the 570 GT. How is that done for you? The 570 GT has done very, very well for us. And, and those who have one love their cars and love the idea of a Grand Tour from McLaren. And the car opened up a new segment for us. And the, all the great feedback we've received has encouraged us just to take that concept a little bit further. I'll pick up on the feedback, but in terms of has it opened then a new demographic of client for you? It, it has. Some are existing McLaren owners who've bought a 570 GT to complement their, their current McLarens. But most are new to the brand and looking for an alternative to a traditional Grand Tourer that's comfortable but perform, performs like a McLaren. And another discovery is just how different they are from our existing sports series customers. Right, and then we come to the feedback because I know you really nurture, I've seen it, you really nurture your, your customers, you value their opinions. So what feedback did they give you about the 570 GT? Well, our, our customers love that the car was engineered for longer distances, but they told us it could be even more powerful, even faster. They desired more luggage space and a more elegant and differentiated exterior design and even more refinement, yet still with that distinctive V8 exhaust sound. Okay, so I'm smiling because knowing you just a little, uh, you will have already acted on that feedback. Indeed we have. The development of the McLaren of Grand Touros is, is well underway. Indeed, its launch is probably closer than you think. So let's just take a look. Okay. That was keenly anticipated by some of the press journalists I was speaking to yesterday. That was quite the tease. Tell us a little more. Well, under the camouflage is what we describe as the McLaren of Grand Tour as a, a sleek and boldly elegant car with every design detail there for a reason. So still very much a McLaren with the same DNA as the Speedtail. And inside we've used beautiful, luxurious materials. The interior is spacious, uncluttered, modern. I think that's going to make everybody here want to take to the road, and then my guess is that you already have. Yes, I'm lucky to have already driven it extensively, and it's, it's been engineered for the road to be driven over long distances and to engage with the driver every day. It is the McLaren of Grand Tourers. It'll be the best driver's car of its type, and, and we wouldn't have it any other way. Typically, uh, a Grand Tourer would mean heavy, but that's not in your vocabulary, is it? Absolutely not, no. Every new car we develop must be the lightest in its class by far and the McLaren and Grand Tourers will be no exception to that. Does the mysterious car have a name yet? It does have a name, um, and it sits in a, a new category outside of our sports, super, and ultimate series cars, but I'm going to ask you to be a little bit patient. We're not ready to say yet. <laughs> All right, when's the camouflage coming off? Uh, in just a few months. Um, it's, own, it's a moment I'm really looking forward to. Okay. Um, we'll be watching for clear. So that makes it the fourth car then under Track 25, is that right? Yes, this yeah. car follows the Speedtail, the 720S Spider, and the 600LT Spider that in fact received their global motor show debuts here today, and all since we announced Track 25 less than a year ago. And it's with this 
constant stream of innovative and exciting new product that's making the McLaren the company that it is today. And we're not letting up on our pace. 2018 was a great year, 2019 is going to be just as exciting. Which sounds like a, a great message to end on. Mike, thank you as ever. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. See you next year, we hope. Thank you. Thank you, Kate. Thank you very much. Okay. That concludes the McLaren Press Conference. Media information and images are now available online at our media website. Thank you for your time, and we wish you an enjoyable afternoon in Geneva. <laughs>